guys, welcome back to my channel, Corelia Blanco Simone here. So I know you must be wondering, what took you so long to come back? More excuses, huh? This time, I'm just gonna keep doing videos as much as I can. I'm just not gonna make any more promises. I feel like making promises is something that you have to be truly committed to. So I'm done with that until I'm actually for sure that I will be consistent with YouTube. But for right now, I wanted to bring back a video where, not bring back, but make a video about a full series that I'm doing on my channel, which is all about using one brand only for a full face glam. And I'm going to be doing this with diff all type of different types of uh, brands out there, well known and not known. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that notification button. Subscribe, like, and comment for the next brand you would like to see. And let's get started. So the makeup look that I'm going for today, it could either be an everyday look or just a simple, fun, easy to do look. So the brand that I will be featuring on this video is going to be the one and only LA Girl. LA Girl was kind enough to send me this huge PR box full of goodies from full face, all types of makeup. So let's get started. I just want to clearly say that this video is not sponsored at all. I truly just wanted to get out there with the brands and I wanted to show all my girls out there that any brand could be used for a full beat honey. It doesn't have to be expensive or nor it has to be cheap. So I'm going to do both kind of brands. Are you guys feeling my Wendy pigtails or whatever they called? I wish they would just lay down but they just poof up. The first product we're going to be using is the primer and this primer is the HD Moisturize, Moisturize, is the HD Moisturize Nurturing, I can't even say it, anyway, Nourishing Face Primer and it looks like this, it's one of their new um, primers that they came out with, they came out with other ones that are like this, but this is one of the um, regular ones which is the Hydrate Skin one so let's go and check her out so I'm just gonna put it around where I usually get sweaty the most and that's literally my whole face do you guys see that I literally just put that on my hair area I'm such a dummy all right so hmm for it to be a hydrate uh, primer hydrating primer it doesn't feel like you know, usually like those type of primers usually are like the weight. I mean, the not weight, but it's it's it feels wet, um, more liquidy. This one is literally like matte filling, and to be honest, I'm really liking it. Even if it's a, uh, it's a hydrating primer, make sure you get that in there. Yeah. All right. So next, we're doing the brows. And it looks like this. Um, I got in the color dark brown. Anyway, so I'm using her with their LA Girl 207 brow brush. And it looks like that. And it has its you know spoolie and angle brush. So let's get into the brows. Okay, so I already did my left side brow just to test her out. And she feels like a formula of a gel kind. Um, actually it is now that I think about it but she promises that she's long lasting and she's water resistant so you know I'm gonna take that to the test so what I do when I do my brows what I do is the Anastasia method where she measures from her nose to her eyebrows I've been loving it since then and trace well not trace just go ahead and do my line and you guys could see this formula um, it's not like the dip brow from Anastasia. Um, she a little more weight. I mean, weight. Why are you saying that word? She a little more. Um, how can I say this? Like coverage. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that. So I will be um, clearing my. Uh, I mean, cleaning my brows, clearing my. Eye. And they sent me these concealers. They have is their um, Pro Conceal High Definition. 
I mean HD high definition concealers and you guys probably know about these these are like very popular um, they have a lot of shades also they have correctors and stuff like that they send me their orange corrector and they um, a yellow one which is there for like I believe for like dullness and stuff like that so it looks like that I'm gonna use which is the orange one that I just show you guys it's gonna be for my dark areas that I'm gonna cover and then these are gonna be my concealers and I'm going to use in the shade Fawn and Cool Tan. So I'm going to mix them so to clean my brows and I, you know, conceal my face. So I'm just using a flat brush from Morphe. And um, I'm use that to clean my brows. So now that we have the brows, which she's looking popping. She's looking like, eh, but she's still cute. I cannot take these freaking pigtails or puntails, whatever these freaking things are called serious like at all. I wanted to show you guys their new product that actually launched two yesterday actually. Since this video is gonna be posted today. But um anyways, yeah, uh they came out with their new chalk wave uh liners and these colors for the eyes you guys can see right there and then these colors for the lips which are really 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 pretty like you guys hello I'm about to swatch it real quick that way you guys can see it the first color that I'm gonna go with is there the I'm gonna start with the eyes and then I'm gonna go with the lip ones and then this one is called blackout and GP 740 and it looks like that and it's just just a regular standard um, black gel eyeliner I think these are gel you guys can see sorry for the horrible swatching next I'm going with the color vivid and this one is in uh, GP 739 and this is again the eyeliner and let's go ahead and swatch her you guys can see like they so vibrant next color we have is the electric and uh what is it gp 735 and it looks like this is the blue one i am so horrible at this i'm sorry guys next color we have is screaming and gp 30 i mean 737 and it's the yellow one let's see if you guys can focus it's like that Y'all see that? You guys need to get it. The next color we have here is Gotcha and GP738. <laughs> gotcha man. Yes, honey. And it's the green one right here. And let's swatch her. Alright, so next color we have is in fresh GP739. It's in this mint color which I am loving one because you don't really see these type of colors anywhere for liners also uh, my best friend loves this color and I already know when she comes to my room she's gonna be like put this on me let's put it right next to here y'all see that do you guys see that carnival Seasons is literally screaming for these liners like all right, so next I'm gonna start with the lip liners um, And this one is in color fiery in GP 734 I'm gonna put it right down here She's cute I didn't even show you guys how she looks but she's like I would say a red tone, but a little bit more berry looking. I don't know how to explain it. All right, so next color we have is Outrage and GP 732, and she looks like this. She's like an orange, fiery orange, I would say. I'm gonna put her right next here. All right, so yesterday, since I was trying to record this same video, I just didn't work out but this next color is called pop and GP 731 and I used the heck out of her like look at that she literally has no point or nothing 
<laughs> and she's really pigmented like you guys she's like the perfect hot pink liner she's just perfect Barbie screaming next color is the last one is gonna be in color blaze GP 732 and she looks like this she's the purple one and who doesn't love purple honey hello and uh, she's a little lighter I will say than the one that I show you guys here on the top she's a little lighter she's like a fuchsia kind of color and look at all these swatches guys like they are so pretty and pigmented I wish they came out with a white one I would have loved that just because who doesn't like wearing eyeliner that is white it's just so pretty I wish they would have come out with that color but nothing than less I really like these colors so since today I said that I was gonna do like an everyday glam beat I'm just gonna stick to that so if you guys want to see colors using those liners just go ahead and um, and comment down below and let me know if you guys would like to see any of these colors and you guys can also write me the combos you like you guys will like to see remember these on the top are the liners for your waterline or just your eyes in general and these are uh, these ones are for your lips so just go ahead and comment down below what you guys want to see for the next video it's not gonna be on this series but it will be in the next video if you guys want to just see me using those liners and create a look with them All right, since autumn is like near coming up um, I do have a eye palette from them is in their eye Lux memorizing I'm not sure if I said that right but it looks like this and she's cute and she's like the perfect everyday you can even spice it up you can wear this at night as well but you can also wear this at, at in the afternoons in the morning anytime you go on a, you know want to wear it all right I'm gonna be using their what is this their blending taper blending brush in the number 202 and it looks like that so you guys can see that well and I will be using this color first right here and I'm just gonna focus her on the outer V and just gonna go and do circle motions so next I'm just gonna use my middle finger and I'm gonna use this um, shimmer right here top corner I'm gonna use this color right here and again I'm gonna go on my outer V and basically I'm just gonna focus right here I'm not even gonna move it around the next I will be using for correcting my um, dark areas which I have a lot as you guys can see I like correcting it with their Pro Conceal HD high definition concealer in the color um, orange corrector and then she looks like that and I'm going to use their um, flat brush. I think this is their angle buffer brush in the number 108. She looks like this. So I just go ahead and I put her on here. Just because I don't have time to put little ones in each corner. So basically I focus her on the bottom first. Just because that's my most area that I need to cover. And... Uh, I'm taking her up, honey. This is literally how I catfish people. Fact. Tip. Okay, keep that in mind, girls. There's nothing wrong with a little scumming. Alright, so now that I have my corrector on, I go in with the um, a translucent powder and uh, I'm gonna go with their pro powder high definition setting powder in the color banana yellow I think she's good for that just because sometimes I feel like with drugstore products end up being more flash backy going on you know so I'm glad they gave me the banana yellow one and I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes for the whole face which I don't know if they have one but I'm gonna use one from Morphe and it's this one right here is their E41 is this big huge humongous microphone and she's looking like this in person she looks more yellow than in camera so I will tell you that and I just drag her everywhere Alright, 
So next I will be using the Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation. Is their new foundation that came out recently, I think this year. I believe either this year or last year. Um, one of them. And I have in the color Glam Glam GLM 680 in Golden Browns. But um, uh, she's matte and I love matte, especially full coverage. Um, uh, so we're going to test her out and I will be using their sponge which is their LA Girl sponge and she's wet look how huge she is and I'm going to show you how she looks without being wet compared to the side so she gets really huge I'm going to go in and let's see the coverage Ooh. she is coverage hmm can this be my next Holy Grail foundation? I think maybe. Yeah, she's really covered. She might look orange right now, but that's okay. Because I can always uh, fix her with concealer. So remember that if you ever have a shade that is darker than you, remember you can always fix it with concealer. Now I'm going to go in with my concealers and I'm going to go with the cool tan first. So there you go, I'm gonna go ahead and blend. You guys, I'm really loving this sponge. Like, this sponge right here is amazing. It doesn't absorb any product. It really does help you with full coverage makeup. And I really like that. She reminds me a lot of um, Real Techniques, but then I feel like Real Techniques of surge product but yet again it don't it's kind of hard to explain but I'm really liking her I don't know why she's really like I don't know she just don't absurd product like that and I'm really liking that now I'm gonna set my under eye and I'm gonna go ahead and use their um, loose powder that I use for the other step with the corrector and I'm just going to set my under eye and what I do, instead of putting powder under my eye and let it set, I press it to the skin and it gives you that natural, like, radiant, not radiant, but it just makes your under eye flawless. Just make sure you have a damp uh, sponge to do that because it really will help with the um, powder to set. Alright, so next I'm going to use their Pro HD, I mean Pro Face HD Definition Matte Press Powder for just all over the face. And I'm using the color Classic Tan in GPP610. And I'm going to go ahead and use that same big brush that I tell y'all that looks like a microphone from Morphe. And just going to go ahead and set my face around. Alright, for my waterline, I am going to use their neon eyeliner in the color blackout. So that way you guys can know that I'm using at least theirs. Oh wow. Let me get into that. She's really good. I really like this. I really, really do. All right, now that I'm done with my eyes, I pop on some lashes from Huda Beauty, and they are in the lashes and Sasha. I don't know if LA Girl makes lashes yet, so that's why I didn't put any of hers, but she's popping or whatever. We're gonna go straight to the blush, because we need blush, honey. We can't be looking out here with no you need to be live okay so we have here uh, just blushing blush from them and this is really cute and she is in the color just radiant and 490 she's really cute so let's try her on and we're gonna try her on with the brush 107 is their blush brush 
it's a lot to say to be honest <laughs> and she has like a little bit of highlight in there so tip y'all peep that but y'all already know I'm ready to put some more highlight in that this is nothing honey this is this is like a, a, a little glow you know now we're gonna go ahead and use their strobe light strobing powder and in color watt 80 and this is just a strobing powder which is an eliminator and honey I'm so living let's go on and try her now I don't have any highlight um, brush from them so I'm just gonna use this um, taper highlighter from Luxie so I'm just gonna slightly there Ooh, y'all see that? Let me go ahead and blend that out and bring her upwards. Now that we got our face laid, you know, all set up and stuff, we're gonna go ahead and set it with their Pro Setting Setting Spray Long Lasting Matte Finish. And here it is. She's cute. I just love setting spray setting spray is literally my favorite part when I do makeup now that's, that's done the face is be laid glowing we're gonna go ahead and go with the finish um, lip and we're gonna start first with their sweet lip scrub gently foliates um, I think I said that wrong sorry but she looks like this and she's cute let's open her up so basically she's a, uh, a lip scrub and let's dig her in. So. Ooh. Yeah, she has that. And just basically what they want you to do is do circle motion. Anyways, let's go ahead and do it. want to go ahead and take it off uh, next we're gonna be uh, prepping our lips and this is their lip primer matte base and what she does is she primes and preps lips for a longer lasting lip color so she looks like this let's open her up So basically she's like a crayon for your lips but a primer so you if you guys know me very personally and person and all that you guys know that I love a glossy lip recently I've been doing uh, matte lipsticks and stuff like that and she's she haven't been looking bad she's been doing good so we're gonna go ahead and try this I never really ever try a lip primer so she's like a lip balm to be honest that's how I'm really feeling so for lip liner I will be using their perfect precision lip liner and color sugar and spice GP 714 and she looks like this Let's swatch her out, see what she looks like. Oh wow, okay. She's pigmented, I like it. Alright, so next for the lips, I will be using their, uh, what is this, matte flat finish pigment gloss, matte gloss, hmm, and the color Dreamy, she looks like this, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch her for you, she's cute. Not 
that. So this is the finished look and I really like it. This is like more in between. You can just, you can wear this in the not in the morning, like in day and then like in between the afternoon. Maybe you can spice it up and wear it at night. Who cares? Rocket girl. But overall, the products are amazing. They are affordable. They're for everyone. Um uh, other than that, there's nothing bad. I've been having the foundation for at least what is it since I've been recording for about two hours two to three hours now and the foundation is still matte like completely matte also I normally sweat pounds of makeup <laughs> and literally like this foundation a bomb and the primer a bomb like seriously I'm not sweating at all at all like that's just a miracle so that's gonna be my holy girl foundation and the prime anyways guys if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and comment down below if you enjoyed it go ahead and like and subscribe if you're new i will be doing more videos like this i think this is really like very informative i mean informative very like info for people um what i mean by now i mean what i mean by that is that it you know you get a chance to see a full face just using one brand product and that's just to me that's that's i think that's nice especially for a brand because sometimes people you know we all love trying different type of products at the same time and then you don't really get to see what's really doing the product you understand I'm a little confusing in myself but what I'm trying to say is that with just one brand you want to see how it reacts what is really how just their makeup quality reacts to your face and to be honest honey I am slay like this is my everyday look if I wanted to you know and she's really cute I got my little Wendy uh, pigtails whatever they call you know just cute honey I like her and look at the glow like come on now honey I'm I'm stunning get you like me on a budget but anyways guys thank you so much for watching I really enjoy again doing this type of videos go ahead and leave me some feedback and I will see you on my next video bye